Hey everyone out there, it's me, Michael V. Moore, aka McVinnie. Just want to have a quick talk with you. In case you didn't know, you know, the, the journey I've been on, um, yes, I'm a certified personal trainer and I'm currently an online fitness coach. But before I, I was doing all this fitness stuff, I was just an electrical engineer with a dream. And I used to always fantasize about, you know, starting my own fitness type product. I had no idea what that product would be or what type of service it would be. I just remember always being on these different um, trips overseas and working alongside, you know, CEOs, presidents, and even some, on some occasion, actually kings of countries. Um, I would get in talks with, with them as well as whoever was on my staff, whoever was on their staff. And we would just talk fitness because they always they were they were always curious about what it would take to get in shape when they travel and um, living the lifestyles they were living, especially the CEO of my former company. He was always on the go, always on the go, always on the go and wanted to eat more healthy. But he always felt that due to his environment, he could not potentially live that lifestyle. So in these com in these, you know, basically easy conversations. Back of my head, I was thinking, man, maybe I can help these people one day. And that, that, that was always in the back of my mind, always in the back of my mind. The front, forefront was always the electrical engineer. I'm always an engineer, engineer. Or in that case, I was a business developer. So I always just kept the idea in the back of my head. And uh, for those who don't know my story, you know, back in May 2015, that's when I decided to take a chance on my, myself. And I left my job, uh, my very high paying job, and I wanted to pursue something else at that time what I was pursuing had nothing to do with fitness whatsoever it was just an online business idea I always had and I just wanted to run with it I didn't care if I succeeded or failed I just wanted to see if I had what it would take and over the course of those couple of months I came to realize that that business idea as much as I wanted it to succeed I was just not in a position to succeed with that so I was you know on this, this high of highs and then I dropped down then I decided you know what I need to do something that, that I always wanted to do. I always talk about fitness, but I never took the initiative to actually do fitness. All these years of me trying to lose weight, all these years of me going to the gym, is, is this what it what is all led to? And so I just sat down and I was like, you know, let me create a book. So that's where my first book, Release the Beast, came from. It was just the idea of, I don't know if anyone knows who I am. I don't know if anyone is going to care who I am. I have no idea if anyone well, listen to what I have to say. So let me put down the basic philosophy I have for myself. And, you know, I would love to like train people on these type of philosophies as well. So all that ideas, all that, that, that spark went into that, that book. And I'm proud to say that that became a number one bestseller. And by that becoming a number one bestseller on Amazon, it kind of showed me that there's people out there who need help and who actually would take the time to listen to me. So after that book got published, I decided to, you know, pursue this McVinney idea. So at that time, McVinney was just a blog idea I had where I wanted to reach out to people. At that time, I had no idea how I was going to do that. So I was more or less just wanting people to understand there's no such thing as the ideal body. We're still all searching for that ideal body. And I want to show people the secret of what it takes to get that um, ideal body. So over the course of months, I, I was just trying to figure out what exactly it is for me to have the ideal body, as well as what it is for you to have the ideal body. And so over time, um, I took this general fitness idea and I decided to fine tune it for, for a little bit. And I started focusing more on, um, at first, engineers, because that's where I was. That's where I came from. That was my background. Um, additionally to that, it was like, you know, I was a business developer, so I wanted to do something that would help people who traveled um, get in shape. But I couldn't figure out, you know, exactly what I want to do. Why, do I want to do engineers? Do I just want to do busy professionals? How how was I going to do this? Because at the end of the day, I'm just one lonely person. I decided to just take the risk and um, I, I butched the, the engineering idea. And I decided just to go with traveling professionals. And the reason I, I wanted to go with travel professionals, because I, I know that lifestyle. It's, I, I've been there. And I know what it is like when you're home, you know, one day of the week, but four or five days of the week, 
you're out on the road and you're in airports, you're on an airplane, you're in a hotel room, and you don't know exactly what situation you're getting into. And when you go into that lifestyle unprepared, that's when the massive weight gain, you know, begins. And that's, 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 that's hard, a hard lifestyle to live. So when I've been searching online for, you know, people to help those in needs, I remember when I was going through that, it seemed like the only type of solution people would have was just the very generic stuff. All those people who were trying to provide that advice never actually lived that lifestyle. And um, I, I kind of saw like a little bit of a void there. And I, I'm, I was like, well, could I possibly be that void? Because, you know, I, I, that, that was me. Um, I actually lost, you know, over like 70 pounds during that part of my life. Um, if you go to McVinney blog, I talk about it on my about page. But um, that, 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 that's like a, a, a key, a key um, topic for myself is just the simple idea of how many people out there live that crazy lifestyle and actually finish what they started, you know? And just, just thinking about that is like kind of what I was thinking about in the latest book I, I had, which was Just Keep Going, in which I, I helped someone named Hank um, accomplish a big a big. Well, for him, it was a simple goal at first, but given the circumstances of his life, all the stresses that were going on that he did not foresee coming, it became a longer journey than it was intended. But the fact he kept showing up day in, day out, day in, day out, and that theme, just keep going, kept kept coming into play, is the same type of mindset I want to have, or I, excuse me, I want you guys to have out there who work for a living who travel for a living. And when I say travel, yes, I, I, I mainly talk about, you know, I was an international business traveler. You actually travel around the world. You go long distances. But it's not even that, that drastic. It could be, you know, people who live in environments such as I do right now. I live in the Northern Virginia, you know, D.C. Metro Virginia area in um, Maryland. And this whole area is nothing but traffic. So the sad reality is most people spend about two hours of their day stuck in traffic which means they're traveling back and forth between their home and work. That is crazy. Think about it. That's 10 hours a week you spend in your car. That's 10 hours that gets taken away from you doing productive things in your life. So as you're in your car and you're traveling back and forth from work or you're traveling back and forth from business, are you actually doing, it, doing all you can to reach your full potential? And that's why I'm here. Um, I've kind of, kind of I, I'll admit I, I've dropped the ball a little bit. I haven't been as forthcoming with a lot of ideas, with a lot of products um, that I should be. But I, I'm, I'm trying to get better at that. I'm human. I, I, I admit I have flaws. And um, I sat here and I thought about this for the last couple of days. And I realized that it's, it's, it's this audience that I, I need to fulfill because I know what that feeling is. Um, if you only feel you got 10 minutes of exercise or time to do exercise in a day, what should you do? Um, how can you possibly eat healthy when you have such a limited amount of time? So I'm here to address all those issues. If you had no idea who I was before today, I hope, I hope you stick around and check out my products. So I have two books out there. Like I said, Release the Beast, Just Keep Going. And additionally, additionally to that, I have several fitness products. I have this Travel Workout Master Course. And if that, that's too much for you, um, all you got to do is also just, just send a simple email to me, michael at mcvinney.com. And I would love to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with you to see what, what can I do to help you because that's why I'm here. I'm here to serve you. Whether that's, you know, being your actual fitness coach, whether we come up with a one-on-one -on -one training program, or if you just need me to be your accountability buddy, I'm, I'm here for you. And I, I want to make sure that, that you're there and that you have the help you need. And so this is all what I kind of want to say in this video is I just want to just tell you where, where I've been, where I'm going. And I hope I see a lot of you along with me as I progress and uh, make this McVinney idea a very successful idea, not just for me, but for millions of clients out there or millions of people out there that just want the help, that just want the help and they don't know where to go. And I'm hoping that McVinney is, is your home that you find. Either searching the web or a friend of a friend told you about me. Somehow you got here and now we can be friends. All right. Take care.